Hello, second grade. This week for typing, we're on to number stage 11. And for this one, you're going to be using the right fingers to do it, the right fingers on the right side. And we're going to be going down to here to the period and to the question mark and the slash. And that's going to be the pinky, the right pinky on this side, and then the right uh, ring finger on this side. And just remember the pointy fingers go on the F and the J, and the thumbs are on the space bar. Left pinky goes on the A, then the S, D, F, the pointy finger on this side, and this side, right pointy finger on the J, middle finger on the K, then the L, and the semicolon. Okay, so that's going to be our typing for this week. And then we're also going to continue with code.org. And this week, we're going to work on this one, Chase Games with Events. So let's take a look at this one. Make the dog actor one say hi there. So we have to make the dog say hi there. So here you could change, you know, which actor, actor one or two. We want actor one and we want him to say hi there. Okay, so we just click run. Okay, let me go to the next one. Can you make Jorge the dog actor one say something, then have Oliver the cat actor two say something afterwards? So actor one. That's the dog. We want him to say maybe, uh, how are you doing? And then actor two, which is the cat, maybe he's going to say, good morning. And you click run. And then first he says, how are you doing? And then actor two, the cat, says, good morning. Can you make Jorge actor one move towards all of the cat? Well, how do we move? We're going to move actor one, which actor? Actor one here, we're going to move him right 50, 25 pixels. So you could change which actor, you could change which direction, you could change how much. But for that one, they just wanted a little bit. Can you write a program that makes Jorge actor one move to Olive the cat and have Olive say hi there when Jorge reaches her? So what's the first thing we need to do? We need to have actor one move to the right. So if actor one's going to move to the right, and we want to have Olive say hi there when Jorge reaches her. So what's Olive? Olive is actor two. So when actor one, which is the dog, reaches the cat, the cat, which is actor two, says hi there. And we may want to move this. We can even move this more if you want. Let's try 100. We'll just try this. So we're going to move actor one, the dog, towards the cat. And when he gets there, the actor two, the cat's going to say hi there. Okay, very good. So it's all about just making the instructions for what you want done. Can you make the octopus say what's new when she is clicked? So we want the octopus to say what's new. So we have... We're going to have actor one say, what's new? And we're going to put it over here because we don't want to do it when we run the program. We don't want her to do it when we run the program. We want it to do it when she's clicked. So this is an event, the when clicked. So we're going to have a when clicked. She says, what's new? Okay, so we want it to happen when she's clicked. Now we have a game here, and we're going to move the penguin to the octopus to score a point. Okay, so let's play a game. And now we have their little arrows here up. Okay, and we got how many points do I have to get? I have to get five points. So what you could use, you can use these arrows here if you'd like to go up and down and up and down and you get your five points. Now we're gonna program it in. Okay, so for that one, you just use the arrows over here. But now we're actually going to make a little game here. So we're going to have up, down, left, and right. Okay, like a, like a keyboard, like the keys. So what we, what we want to do is we want to have up, down, left, and right. So what do we want to do? When the up arrow is pressed, we want to move up. When the down arrow is pressed, we want to move down. When the, up, when the left arrow is pressed, we want to move left. And when the right arrow is pressed, we want to move right. Okay, so we just make it like a direction. Okay, so up, when the up arrow is key, we go up. When the left, we go left. When the right arrow is key, we go to the right. When the down arrow is click, we go down. And now we click run. And now I just click these arrows over here, and I can go up and down, and I can get all of the flags. And now you're, you're set up your game. 
that when the event happens, when the arrow is clicked, you can do it. So those are events when you have when clicked or when up arrow pressed. Now we have a repeat forever to run the code over and over. Use this block to move chomp the dyno actor two up and down by 400 forever. So we're going to have repeat forever. And what do we want to repeat forever? We want to move actor two up by 400 and then we want them to move down by 400. Okay, so now we click run and then he goes up forever and down forever. Okay, we have our forever loop. Actor two goes up 400, then down 400. Now we want to have actor one say ouch and play a hit sound when he runs into chump. So when actor one, when he touches actor two, what do we want him to do? We want him to say ouch. And then what else do we want? We want him to, to have a hit sound. We have a hit sound. Okay, so now we have the hit sound. Okay, so now we have him going up and down here. This is the loop that he goes over here. And then he goes to the right, and we want him to say ouch when he runs into them. And you, you also would have a sound, but I, I turned the sound off on my computer. Can you add a block to score a point when actor one runs into the octopus, actor P? Actor three, I'm sorry. So when you score, when actor one touches actor three, so when the penguin touches the the octopus, what do you want to do? You want to score a point. Okay, so now whenever the penguin touches the octopus, I get a point. So now I'm going to go this way. He says, ouch, when he touches the the dinosaur because he's moving up and down and we had that over in here but when the penguin touches the octopus it says um, it says you score a point I just want to show everybody again real quick so when the penguin touches the octopus you score a point because the octopus is, is, is number three actor three but when the penguin touches the dinosaur here it says ouch and they make a hit sound because that's the um, that's the uh, actor two Okay, let's go to the next one. Add the when run event to change the background seed and speed of, of rattles. So when we run our program, what do we want to do? We want to set the background. What do you want the background to be? Maybe we'll make it underwater. And we want to change the speed. So now we look for speed. Let's look for uh, speed. Set actor one speed. We want it to be maybe very fast, okay? So what we want to do is we say when we run our program, we want it to be an underground or whichever one you want to do underwater, and we want actor one, which is the penguin, and we ch change his speed over here. Okay, now, now, we, now we changed our game to make it quick. And then finally, you could do your own, um, own creation here. So you could change your background if you want, maybe underwater, and you could pick who you want to be actor one to be a you know a cat, and then you could say you know I want actor two to be a uh, dinosaur. Then you could say when the up arrow is pressed, what do you want to do? When the up arrow is pressed, you could say you want to move up, right? And then maybe you want to say when the down arrow is pressed, and you're gonna have to do the, the right and the left, right? You do right, and then you're gonna do left. Okay, so set these up. And then you're going to just say, you know, actor goes to the right, actor one goes to the right. And then over here, you could say, move down. And then you could say, uh, move left. Okay, now, I, now when I run, what happens? It's underwater. We have a cat, because actor one is a cat, and actor two is a dinosaur. Now I could use this. I can go up, and I, and I can go down, and I can go to the right. I can go to the left, and then you could even say when actor one touches actor two, maybe you could um, play a sound or score a point. Now I could say maybe I'll play a sound and score a point. So now when I run my program, I have the cat and the dinosaur. I can go up, down, and then whenever you see, I keep getting a point now when he touches the dinosaur.
and he's and he would play a sound as well but i turned it off so you could experiment and you could do whatever and you could have him say stuff too you could have him say you know ouch or you know whatever you want him to, to say but that's our uh chase game with events in code.org